Bandeyam Shri Guru Shri Yata Parakamlam Shri Guru Vaishnavam Sya Shri Rupam Sakrajatam Sakanara Gunatam Bitam Tam Sajivam Sadvaitam Sabadutam Parijana Saitam Krishna Chaitanya Devam Shri Rada Krishna Paran Sahagana Lalita Shivishikam Vitam Sya Omagyana Timaranda Sya Gyananjana Shalakaya Chakshurun Militam Yena Tasma Shri Gurave Namo Gurva Bhistam Sapurakam Garaganara Sisha Sambhushitam Chintya Chintya Samasta Veda Nipanam Shri Rupa Patanagam Govinda Vidam Ujjvalam Varatanam Bhaktyan Vidam Sundaram Mande Vishwagurun Shah Divyad Bhagavad Prem Noe Vijapranam Devam Divyatanum Suchandavaranam Balarka Chelanchitam Sandrananda Puram Sadekavaranam Vairagya Vidyambudim Sri Siddhanta Nidim Subhakti Lasitam Saraswatanam Baram Mandetam Shubaram Mareka Shananam Nyashishwara Shidaram Bansha Kopatarubhyascha Kripa Sindhu Bhyevacha Patita Anam Pavenibyo Vaishnabe Bhyo Namo Nama Namo Mahabharanyaya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishnaya Krishna Chaitanya Namane Gaurata Vishay Nama So we're hearing from Sri Chaitanya Charitamrita by Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Translation and commentary by Srila Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada. This is Madhya Leela Chapter 23, Life's Ultimate Goal. <coughs> mm. Mm. Text number 50. 50, 50 Sinquenta. Divida Vibhava Lambana Uripan Bamshi Swaradi Uripana Krishnadi Alamban. There are two kinds of particular ecstasies, Vibhava. One is called the support and the other is called the awakening. So the, the support is the called Alamban, and the awakening is called Udipan. The vibration of Krishna's flute is an example of the awakening, and Lord Krishna himself is an example of the support. Anubhava smita nritya gitadi ubasvar stambadi sattvika anubhavera bitar. The subordinate ecstasies are smiling, dancing, and singing, as well as different manifestations in the body. The natural ecstasies, such as being stunned, are considered among the subordinate ecstasies, Anubhava. So these are uh, different uh, ecstasies which will uh, color and enhance the different rasas which the devotees are experiencing. Nirveda Harshadi Tetrisha Bhyabhichari Sabamili Rasahoy Shamatkarakari. There are other ingredients beginning with complete despondency and jubilation. Altogether, there are 33 varieties, and when they, these combine, the mellow becomes very wonderful. So here, Rasa, it, it, it means a relationship, but it also means the taste. So all these, all these different ingredients make the, the taste of the, that the devotees are experiencing of that rasa becomes very, very enhanced, very beautiful. Pancha vidha rasa shantadasya sakya vatsaya madhura nama shringara rasa Sabate Prabhaya, there are five transcendental rasas or mellows neutrality, servitorship, friendship, parental affection, and conjugal love, which is also known as the mellow of sweetness, Madhura Ras. Conjugal love excels all the others. In fact, we can say all the rasas are ultimately in the service of 
Madhura Ras. They're all to serve and enhance, ultimately, the, the rasa between Radha and Krishna. They all serve as enhancements. Shantarasi, shan, santa, uh, Shantarasi, Shantirati, Prima, Prima Parjanta Hoi, Dasharati, Raga, Parjanta, Kramite, Badai. The position of neutrality increases up to the point where one can appreciate love of Godhead. The mellow of servitorship, or Dasharas, gradually increases to the point of spontaneous love of Godhead. Sakya, so that the dasha ras in, increases up to the rag, a sense of, of, of natural love flowing from the heart. Sakya vatsoya ratipai anuragasima shubha yadyara bhava parjanta primera mahima. After the mellow of servitorship, there are mellows of friendship and parental love. Which, incre which increase to subordinate, spontaneous love. The greatness of the love found in friends like Subal extends to the standard of ecstatic love of Godhead. So they're using terms like anurag. Uh, they're to, and it's here translated subordinate, spontaneous love. And then the the greatness of love found in friends like Subo extends to the standard of ecstatic love of Godhead. What it says is it's, it's going up to bhava. Because we, we understand that the rasas, they go to bhava and, and radharani, she experienced mahabhav. Rasa Raj is Krishna, radharani is mahabhav. Srila, Siddhanta, Siddha, Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur says the mellow of neutrality increases the simple love of Godhead. In the mellow of servitorship, love of Godhead increases that to affection, counter love, anger based on love, which is mana, love and attachment. Similarly, the mellow of friendship increases to affection, counter love, love, attachment, and sub attachments. So here we're actually using words like uh, we're using a different voc vocabulary that's so it, it sounds the we don't un exactly understand what the translations are because there's no real equivalent in the english language mm -hmm. it is the same with the mellow of parental affection the special feature of the mellow of friendship exhibited by personalities like Subo is that it increases from fraternal affection to counter love, to spontaneous attachment, to subordinate attachment, and finally to the ecstasy where all the ecstatic symptoms continuously exist. Santani rasera yoga viyoga duibed, sakya batsaye yoga dhiraneka bibed. There are two divisions of each of the five um, rasas yoga, connection, and viyoga, separation. Among them, among the mellows of friendship and parental affection, there are many divisions of connection and separation. Ruda adi ruda bhava kevala madhure mahishi ganera ruda adi ruda gopika nikare. Only in the conjugal mellow are there two ecstatic symptoms called ruda advanced and adi ruda highly advanced. So we know that 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 Madhura Ras is the most advanced of the mellows, and in, in in Madhura Ras there is the level called Ruda advanced and Adi Ruda highly advanced. <coughs> the, the ecstatic, the advanced ecstasies are found among the queens of Dwarka, and the highly advanced ecstasies are found among the gopis. So what's, this chapter is about life's ultimate goal, or prayojana. And here, Mahaprabhu is explaining to Sanatana Goswami about all the different levels within the five principal rasas of neutrality, servitorship, friendship, uh, parental love, and 
the relation of lovers. The relationship of lovers, here it says, mentions this has levels of rudha, advanced, and that's found in Dwarka. Now, what's happening in Dwarka is that Krishna's married. He's married to so many wives. So that's one level of, of, of Madhura Ras. That's called Swakya. And then the relationship with the gopis in, in Vrindavan, that's called highly advanced Adiruda, but it, that's called Parakya Ras, because in Parakya Ras there's no relationship of ownership. The gopis don't own Krishna. They're not married to Krishna. But Krishna, in fact, they go beyond the level of the normal, they go beyond the, the norms of society. They have uh, read where the gopis who are going to meet Krishna, for instance, in the middle of the night, who are dancing with him, they don't have any children, but they do have husbands. And they have, they have you know, of course, all the re relatives within a relationship, like they have mother-in-laws who are si sometimes highly critical of them because they're always going with Krishna. So naturally, their in-laws are critical of them. So, but they go beyond. They be, go beyond being scolded and, and, and apparently being against the norms of the society. They go to be with Krishna. Krishna is more important than, to, to them than anything in their life. And therefore, although normally in society, we wouldn't, be, wouldn't appreciate that so much. For instance, I'll tell you in Mexico, they have, they have a joke. If, if somebody, somebody's wife is supposedly going with another man, then they'll say to him, oh, the, they'll say to the man, let me open the door for you. And they open the door very, very wide. And then why did they do that? Because they're like, it's a joke. It's like saying, oh, I'm opening the door very wide so your horns, horns can go through the door. Because they say that somebody, they say that somebody whose wife is cheating on him, that they have horns. So, so they, that's their joke. They open the door very wide, like. <laughs> but anyway, they're criticizing the man because his wife is not true, is not faithful to him. So, with the gopis. In, they're being scolded in their in their families that they're because they're running their families are you know are a little bit critical of them sometimes because they will leave everything to go with Krishna. You saw that in the you saw that when the when Krishna and Balaram were nearby and they sent they sent the cowherd boys to get food because they were in the forest and they were hungry. So the cowherd boys approached the wives of the, the they approached the Brahmins and they said, Krishna and Balaram are nearby, they're hungry, so give us some food. And, the, and, the, and the, those Brahmins said, don't bother us, we're doing a yagya, we don't have time to take care of you children. Or, so, or, or we don't have time to take care of you. But when the wives of the Brahmins heard about that, they they immediately not only sent so much food for Krishna and Balaram, but many of them, they tried to go to Krishna and Balaram. And some of the husbands stopped their wives from going. And when they stopped their wives from going, they gave up their bodies to go with, uh, go with Balaram and Krishna. So, so this is saying in the, um, the queens in Dwarka, their, their level of, is called Ruda, advanced, but the gopis, their level of relationship with, the, with Krishna is called Adi, Adi Ruda, highly advanced. Adi Ruda Mahabhava tu, Duita Prakar Sambhoge Madana Virahe Mohana Namatar. Highly advanced ecstasy is divided into two categories, Madan and Mohan. Meeting together is called Madan, is called Madana. And separation is called mohana. And we also know that the word mohan means illusion. So that separation is, has that name mohan. Highly advanced ecstasy is divided into 
two categories, Madan and Mohan. Meeting together is called Madan, it's called Madan, and separation is called Mohan. Marane chumbanadi hoy ananta vibed udgorna chitra japa mohane duibed. On the Madan platform, there are kissing and many other symptoms, which are unlimited. In the Mohan stage, there are two divisions, Udgorna, unsteadiness, and Chitra Jopa, varieties of mad emotional talk. So uh, on the level of meeting, meeting with Krishna, there are kissing and many other symptoms. And on the Mohan stage, there are two divisions, Udgorna, that they become unsteady, and Chitra Jalpa, varieties of mad emotional talk. Because, you know, so because we, we heard things that are unfavorable to devotion is Atyahara Prayasas Cha Prajalpa, Jalpa, means unnecessary talks. But here the similar word is Chitra Jalpa. Chitra Jalpa means that in separation from Krishna, the gopis, they talk like mad women. Chitra Jalpara Dasha Anga Prajapadinam Brahmara Gita Dash Shloka Tahate Praman. Mad emotional talks include ten divisions called Prajapo, Prajapa, and other names. An example of this is the ten verses spoken by Srimati Radharani called the Song, song to the Bumblebee. Uh, so, this song to the bumblebee, when Radharani is talking like a madwoman, is when Krishna sent Uddhava to Vrindavan after he had left Vrindavan. He sent, he sent um, Uddhava to visit them. And first of all, Uddhava ar arrived in a chariot. They were not very happy, the gopis not very ha happy to see a chariot because the last time they'd seen a, ch a ch chariot was when Akrura came there to take Krishna out of Vrindavan. But, but then Uddhava told the gopis that you are very much to be praised and you are fortunate because you're always able to meditate and remember Krishna. But the gopis, they didn't like to, especially Radharani, they didn't like to hear that kind of talk. They said, we're not worshiping, we're not thinking of Krishna because we want some spiritual advancement or we consider ourselves uh, advanced. Radharani says, our problem is that we can't stop talking about Krishna or thinking about Krishna or remembering Krishna. We, th we would be better off if we could forget Krishna, but we can't. And then Radharani is talking to a bumblebee in the in, 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 Uddhava, and she relates the bumblebee to be like Uddhava. She calls the bumblebee the, um, the undu, unreliable messenger of an unreliable master. And, and then she's scolding the bumblebee and then thinking, oh, the bumblebee will carry news to Krishna and he'll be angry. So sometimes she's scolding the bumblebee, then sometimes, oh, but, you know, Krishna is very one. So she goes back and forth like, like crazy. And this is an example is the ten verses spoken by Srimati Radharani called the Song to the Bumblebee, Brahmara Gita. Udgorna viva sachesta dinyon maranam virohe krishna swarti apanake krishna gyan Udgorna, unsteadiness, and vivasa chesta Boastful activities are aspects of transcendental madness. In separation from Krishna, one experiences the manifestation of Krishna and one thinks oneself to be Krishna. Well, the gopis showed that when Krishna disappeared from the rasa dance. Some of them were saying, oh, look, I'm Krishna. See how I hold Govardhan heel and all this. They're talking like this. So in separation from Krishna, one experiences the manifestation of Krishna and one thinks oneself to be Krishna. It's like... You might say it's almost like theater, that they're so intense in their love for Krishna. They're enacting, but they really believe. But, you know, that's also part of theater. When somebody is doing theater, they believe they're the part of the actor, that they're, 
that they're, they're, they're showing. Samboga vipralamba pede dvivida shringar, samboga rananta anga nahi antatar. In conjugal love, shringar, there are two departments, meeting and separation. On the platform of meeting, there are unlimited varieties that are beyond description. Vipralamba chatur vida purva ragman Prabhashakya ara prema vaichitya akyan. Vipralamba has four divisions purva rag, mana, pravasa, and prema vaichitya. Radhika je purva ras, prasida pravasa mane, prema vaichitya shri dashame mahishigane. Of the four kinds of separation, three purva ras, purva rag, prava. Pravasa and Mana are celebrated in Srimati Rani, Rani and the Gopis. In Dwarka, among the queens, feelings of Prema Vaichitya are very, are very prominent. So again, there's, there's words here that uh, Prema Vaichitya is, is translated as feelings of fear and of, of separation. Rukmini showed that one time when Krishna was joking with her and saying that, oh, you would have been better off if you had married Sishupal. And she was thinking Krishna was going to leave her and she fainted. So that's an example of Prima Vaichitya. Uh, and the gopis are experiencing Purva Rag, Pravasa, Mana. Manas, Mana can be is, is translated as like jealousy. Sometimes Radharani is with Krishna and she sees her, sh her own shadow and she becomes jealous of her own shadow. Then Kurari Vilapasi Twam Vita Nidra Nasheshe Swapiti Jagati Ratriyam Ishvaru Gupta Bodha Vayamiva Saki Kachid Gara Nirvida Cheta Nalina Nayana Hashodana Lilekshitena, my dear friend Kurari. Kurari is a bird. It is now night, and Lord Shri Krishna is sleeping. You yourself are not asleep or resting, but are lamenting. Should I presume that you, like us, are affected by the smiling, liberal, playful glances of lotus eyed Krishna? If so, your heart is deeply pierced. Is that why you are showing these signs of? Sleepless lamentation. So obviously, this bird is make is make singing or making sounds during the night time. Uh, this this verse was spoken by Lord Krishna's queens. Although they were with Krishna, they were still thinking of losing his company. They're they're feeling insecure. They're thinking that Krishna may leave me, and this causes them some some feelings of separation even though Krishna is present. You know, with the, the, with the 16,100 wives that Krishna has in Dwarka, he's with all of them. He's expanded himself and he's in every single house. So, but still they're thinking that he may leave them. Okay. Rajendra Nandana Krishna, Nayaka Shiromani, Nayikara Shiromani Radha Takurani. Lord Krishna, who appeared as the son of Nandamaraj, is the supreme hero in all dealings. Similarly, Srimati Radharani is the topmost hero in, in all dealings. So the words here are. Nayaka Shiromani. Shiromani means the top jewel, the, 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 the best of all heroes is Krishna. And then it says Nayikara Shiromani, the best of female heroes is Srimati Radharani. And we hear that word about that, that word, uh, Nayik, Nayaka, uh, pardon me, Nayikara. Well, we hear that in the, in the heart and halo. Uh, there's, there's a, uh, a description by Srila Bhakti Sananta Saraswati Thakur that he says that we find in all the qualities of the female hero, of the heroine, we find that 
those qualities are present in Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur. And he, 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 he refers to Srila Bhakti Vinod Thakur as being Srimati Radharani. So, because he says, if, it's, a, it's a very nice uh, description that occurs at the end of the Chaitanya Charitamrita in the closing statements by Srila Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Thakur. He says, if I look very closely, I can see that my guru is Guna Manjari. Now, Guna Manjari is, is Gorkishore Das Babaji. But he says, if I look with my head in a more seeing the whole thing, then he says that I see that my guru is Srimati Radharani. Up to when, up to, up to Vatsalya Ras, we say that the guru is Nityananda or Balaram. But when you consider the highest Ras, Madhura Ras, then the guru is Srimati Radharani. And and uh, Srila Bhakti Sananta Saraswati Thakur, he sees, he sees uh, Bhakti Vinod Thakur as Srimati Radharani. And really, you could say that's his statement of who is, who is his guru, although he has approached uh, Gorkishore Das Babaji. And many of the deities that Srila Bhakti Sananta Saraswati Thakur installed, he named after Bhakti Vinod Thakur in the sense that Krishna Vinodini and all these different deities he names with the name of Bhakti Vinod Thakur. Nayakanam, Shiro Ratnam, Krishna Stubhagavan Swayam, Yatra Niyataya Sarve, Dirajante Mahaguna. Krishna is the Supreme Personality of God in Himself, and He is the crown jewel of all heroes. In Krishna, all transcendental good qualities are permanently situated. So why I'm saying all these things is I'm trying to say something about this because it's full of terminology and it's fully, full of different descriptions which are very high, which are really beyond my level to be able to, you know, I, I, I've heard something about these, but they are, this is very high subject matters. This is beyond my comprehension. But I've heard something from Guru Maharaj and, and Govinda Maharaj about this, so I can say something. but. I'm, I'm saying this because there are many words, I could not define these words, but I remember something that they said about this word or that word, then I could say something about that. Devi Krishna, Krishna Mayi Prokta Radhika Paradevata Sarva Lakshmi Mayi Sarva Kanti Samohini Para. The transcendental goddess, Srimati Radharani, is the de direct counterpart of Lord Sri Krishna. She is the central figure for all the goddesses of fortune. She possesses all the attraction to attract the all-attractive uh, personality of God, or all the attraction to attract Krishna. She is the primeval internal potency of the Lord. She is the primeval internal potency of the Lord. Ananta Krishna Raguna Shoshati Pranan Ek Ek Guna Shuni Junaya Bhaktakan. The transcendental qualities of Krishna are unlimited. Out of these 64 are considered prominent. The ears of the devotees are satisfied simply by hearing all these qualities one after the other. Ayam Netasu Ramyanga Sarvasa Lakshana Vita. Ruchira Stejasa Yukto Baliyan Vayasan Vita. Krishna, the supreme hero, has the most beautiful, has the most beautiful transcendental body. This body possesses all good qualities. It is radiant and very pleasing to the eyes. His body is powerful, strong, and youthful. Vividad Bhuta Basha Vit Satyavaksha. Satya Vakya Priyamvara Vabaduka Supandityo Budiman Prati Manvita. Krishna is the linguist of all wonderful language. 
He is a truthful and very pleasing speaker. He is expert in speaking, and he is very and he is a very wise, learned scholar and a genius. Vidagdas chatura daksha kritagya sudrida vrata deshikala supatragya shastra chakshu suchirvashi. Krishna is very expert in artistic enjoyment. He is highly cunning, expert, grateful, and firmly de determined in his vows. He knows how to deal according to time, person, and country, and he sees through the scriptures and authoritative books. He is very clean and self-controlled. Stiro danta shama shilo gambiro dritiman sama vadanyo dharmika shura Karuno manya manakrit. Krishna is steady, his senses are controlled, and he is forgiving Grayman. Uh, Krishna is steady, his senses are controlled, and he is forgiving, grave and calm. He is also equal to all. Moreover, he is magnanimous, religious, chivalrous, and kind. So religious means he always follows Dharma. He is magnanimous, religious, chivalrous, and kind. He is always respectable. He is always respectful to respectable people. Dakshino Vinayi Riman Sharanagata Palaka Suki Bhakta Surit Prema Vasya Sarva Shubankara. Krishna is very simple and liberal. He is humble and bashful, and he is the protector of the surrendered souls. He is very happy, and he is always the well-wisher of his devotees. He is all auspicious, and he is submissive to love. Pratapi kirtiman rakta loka sadhu samasraya narigana manohari sarva radya samridiman. Krishna is very influential and famous. And he is the object of attachment for everyone. He is the shelter of the good and the virtuous. He is attractive to the minds of women, and he is worshipped by everyone. He is very, very rich. Varyan Varyan Ishvaras Chaiti Gunas Tashanu Kirtita Samudra Eva Panshashad Ami. Yes, it says Krishna is very rich. I can contrast that with in India, they call the poor person or the homeless person. They call that, um, what is the term? Huh? Dridra Narayan. Dridra Narayan. Poor Narayan. Poor Narayan. The poor Narayan. But how can, how can Narayan be poor? He's the husband of the goddess of fortune, Lakshmi. Everybody else in this world, for everybody else, Lakshmi, she's very fickle. She goes, uh, she goes from one place to another. She doesn't stay very long. In fact, she has that name. I'm trying to remember the name, but, uh, uh, huh? Chanchala. Chanchala. She goes from one place to another. She doesn't stay in one place. But with Narayan, she's always massaging his feet. She's always there. She never leaves Narayan. So, so how, can, how can Narayan be, you know, Dridra, Dridra Narayan, poor Narayan? Narayan can't be poor. And here, uh, here it mentions about Krishna. His, Krishna is very, very rich. He's not the poor man in the street. Varya Nishvaras Cheti Gunas Tachyanu Kirtita. That's just stupid politics of India that they want to do. Try and get, not have the so called untouchable class. So they called the poor man. He's to be worshipped. He's driven Orion. You know. That'd be like us saying that all the people, you know, on Pacific Avenue, they're all driven Orions. Come on. Varyan Ishwaras Cheti Gunas Tashyanu Kirtita Samudra Eva Pancha Shad Durvigaha Harer Ami. 
Krishna is the supreme and he is always glorified as the supreme lord and controller. Thus all the previously mentioned transcendental qualities are in him. The 50 qualities of the supreme lord mentioned above are as deep as an ocean. In other words, they are difficult to fully comprehend. Jivesh Vete Vasantopi Bindu Bindu Taya Kvachit Paripurna Taya Manti Tatraiva Purushottame. These qualities are sometimes very minutely exhibited in living beings, but they are fully manifested in the Supreme Personality of God. So living entities can have 50, 50 qualities of the Lord. Then Lord Shiva, what he has another, uh, he has uh, an additional, additional, I believe, four qualities. Then, then we, uh, then we have qualities present only in, in, in qualities in Vishnu. But Krishna is complete in all sixty-four different qualities. We're getting to that. Atacha pancha guna jeshur amshena. Girishadishu. Apart from these qualities, are there, there are five other qualities found in the Supreme Personality of God that are, per, that are partially present in demigods like Shiva. So I'm wrong. It's five qualities. Uh, I, but it's getting a little late. I'm going to stop at this point, and tomorrow I'll read about the qualities that are found in Lord Shiva, the qualities that are found in Lord Vishnu, and then what special four qualities are found in Krishna. We'll go through that. These things are all being explained to Sanatana Goswami because Sanatana Goswami is going to have all this knowledge and he's going to write literatures that, which we'll call Shastra that is the Shastra that is explaining why Krishna is the supreme, not like some people. So many people think, oh, Krishna is an incarnation of Vishnu. No. No. What does Vishnu do? What's so, what's so special about Vishnu, that, you know, over, uh, more than Krishna? Vishnu, what? He has four hands. So when people in this world, they don't have four hands. So that makes, him, that makes him the supreme. And Krishna only has two hands like us. No. The people don't understand anything. They don't understand who Krishna is. It's like Guru Maharaj says, what is Krishna's... What is Krishna's duty? Nothing. His only duty is to enjoy. He's the supreme enjoyer. You know, he doesn't have to work. It's not like us that we have to work. We have to work. We have to do something. If we don't go, if we're not doing something, we have, how will we maintain ourselves? But Krishna, Krishna, his, his, Special position is he has a relationship with everybody. And he's enjoying with his devotees. He is enjoying with everyone. He is a, he's like a, the most attractive person playing his flute, uh, having wonderful activities with his devotees. And his mm -hmm. devotees are all very except, exceptional. So anyway, we'll talk about Krishna tomorrow, and then we'll talk... This chapter will also talk about Srimati Radharani, her qualities. This is a very nice chapter. This is a chapter, this is called Prayojana. What are the aspects of our goal, you know? What are you, what are you, what are you, what are you trying to do? What are you working for? If you tell, ask ordinary persons, you know, what is your goal? They'll say, my goal is to you know, work, and then I, what will you do later? Oh, I'll retire. You know, is that a goal? If you really wanted to retire, you could retire now. You just stop working. Is that your goal? Is just to stop? Your goal is to work so hard so then you can stop working when you're old. Oh, what kind of a goal is this? If you really were so intent about not working and retiring, you could retire when you're 20. Huh? I told I told that to my parents. They were very angry. <laughs>
Why? Because they're right. It's like, it's like foolish talk. But then when I was 21, and Govinda Marsh thought that was fun. He liked that. He thought it was funny. They said, I, I, when I was 21, they said, now you have to get a job. I said, no, I'm retired. <laughs> they said, you can't retire. You never worked. I said, yeah, but what will you do? You're working very hard. What will you do? And they said, well, uh, I said, when you get old, after you've worked very hard, what will you do? Oh, we'll retire. Oh, and when you retire, where will you live? They said, well, we'll live in, by the ocean or we'll live in the mountains. And I told them, well, I'm living in the mountains now and I'm retired. And so what is the goal? The goal is just to stop working? No. Krishna shows, Krishna shows that his activities, he has a relationship with everyone and he's, and he's got these wonderful qualities and he's enjoying with his devotees. He's not like doesn't have some responsibility, doesn't have some job. All the demigods, they have some job. You know, Shiva's destroying, Brahma's creating, Vishnu's maintaining. But Krishna, no. Hari Haraya Nama, Krishna Jaravaya Nama. Jaravaya Madhavaya Keshavaya Nama Gopal Govinda Ram Shri Madhusudan Giridhari Gopinatha Maranamon Chaitanya Nityananda Shri Advaita Chandra Gananara Shiva Sadi Gora Bhakta Vrinda Jai Rupa Sanatan Bhakta Raguna Shri Jiva Gopala Bhata Dasa Raghunas Echai Gosai Kori Charana Bhandhan Jau Ekte Vignana Shavishna Puran Jai Gosai Jar Muitarana Tasamar Bhada Renu Mora Panchagras Tare Jarana Sebi Bhakta Sanibas Janame Janame More Abhilas Echai Gosai Jabe Bhaje Khoilabhas Radha Krishna Nitya Leela Kori Labhakas Anande Bolo Hari Bhaja Vrindavan Shri Guru Vaishnava Pade Majai Aman Shri Guru Vaishnava Pade Majai Hare Nam Sangirtana Kohe Naradam Hundan Hare Krishna Hare 
Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare. Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna. Krishna Krishna Hare 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 Rama Hare Rama 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 Hare Hare Gosvaintakorkijai. <laughs> Premsi Goshi Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadad Harshivasi Shri Gaurabhakta Vrinda Ki Jai Srila Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai Shri Chaitanya Charitamrita Ki Jai Srila Vrindavan Das Akur Ki Jai Shri Chaitanya Bhagavat Ki Jai Naratam Srinivas Shamananda Prabhu Ki Jai Vishpavarena Srila Bhakti Vedanta Swami Manaras Prabhupada Ki Jai Jai Om Vishnupad Vishwab, um, no. Jai Srila Bhakti Nirmal Vacharya Maharaj Ki Jai. Uh, Samaveda Bhakta Vrinda Ki Jai. Sri Harinam Sangirtan Ki Jai. Uh, Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Mat Ki Jai. Sokel Sri Chaitanya Saraswat Sevashram Ki Jai. Gaur Premanande Hari Hari Bo. Jai Srila Bhakti Nirmal Vacharya Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai. Jai.